Hi, I'm Kathy McMorris Rogers from Washington's 5th Congressional District, and I've received several questions via Facebook, and I wanted to answer them today. How has the increased emphasis on social media been received by your colleagues? What are you doing to encourage more of them to use these tools? Radio, television, and print media are still dominant. However, we in the House Republican Conference have made a conscious effort to promote social media. As people go to the web for their news and daily tasks, we need to be a part of that space. In terms of encouraging my colleagues, every other conference meeting, I give a presentation about how they can be even more effective online. Just as importantly, we have the GOP Lab series, which has proven very popular with members and staff and helps keep the pedal to the metal. On Friday, the winners of the conference's New Media Challenge were announced. Your office headed up this challenge. Can you tell us a bit about why you did it and how it went? Our New Media Challenge is a success because it uses competition to drive innovation. Basically, we've taken a sports or game concept and applied it to politics and communications. Members and their staff really get invested in the spirit of the challenge. Along the way, all the participants have a chance to learn from each other. By the end of seven weeks, we always see an amazing yield in the terms of new tactics and strategies. Moreover, it's a lot of fun and helps us spotlight the innovative way members are connecting with their constituents. Do you all use Facebook to help figure out how your constituents feel about how you should vote on a particular issue? The real-time nature of many social media tools can help members take the pulse of events. If a debate is reaching a, a high pitch, undoubtedly somewhere online someone is talking about it. Tapping into those existing conversations can be incredibly valuable. Being proactive and reaching out to constituents is also valuable. Members can do that with open-ended questions, surveys, or even regular virtual town halls with status updates or live streaming video. Increasingly, we're seeing a convergence of online and offline communications to my office around issues, and we expect that trend to continue.